Hi, everyone. Frightbone here, back with another episode of the Weekly Purple Team. I'm back from my week of teaching in Australia. Those of you who attended my class there, that was awesome. Thank you for that. This week, we're taking a look at a very storied tunneling tool. And the reason I'm taking a look at this now is I sat down with one of the other instructors and he's like, one of my favorite tools is chisel. So I really hadn't experimented with chisel very much. So I figured let's give that a go. So we're taking a look at chisel. Chisel is a fast TCP UDP tunneling mechanism. You can create SOX proxies. You can do all sorts of fun with this. Uh, it didn't take me too long to obfuscate a binary enough to get by Defender. And then once I have it by Defender, I now can tunnel through that host. And once you're sending traffic through a host, you can do all sorts of things that EDR just kind of ignores, right? You can Kerberos, you can attack domain controllers in ways that would normally be blocked. So we're going to use Chisel today to set up a tunnel. And then we're going to do an RDP session through that tunnel, just back to the same host with uh, some new functionality of NetExec. And we're going to detect them both. So let's take a look at that. We'll first start with our Kali host. Over here, we have Chisel. We're just going to do Chisel server, our port of 8080. And we're just going to do reverse. Reverse means you can control the proxy from the client side. So we get that going. Have our reverse tunneling enabled. Kind of hop over here to Win 11 uh, host 1. And I have a working version of Chisel here that I have obfuscated enough to get it by Defender. There are a lot of ways you can do this, but in general, you can see virus and threat protection is all on. It definitely wants to send this binary. But essentially, if we take a look, you can see real time, dev, all of it's on. So we're going to go ahead and we'll run our ton chis executable here, which is an obfuscated chisel. I run it in client mode. We're going to give it the port of 8080. Then we're going to give it the SOX port of 1080. So we'll create a SOX port. Then we can run things with proxy chains. Go ahead and we'll get that. And it says connected. We come back over here to our Kali host now. We have a session SOX. So it's listening. So at this point, our Win11 host one, we're going to disconnect from it because it's going to disconnect anyway the moment that I run this command. Go ahead and disconnect 111, and we'll come over here to our second tab. And on our second tab, we're going to run some new functionality of NetExec. So NetExec's getting ready to add RDP command execution. And this is pretty cool because it's going to blend right in with what admins are doing. But I did find a way to detect this, so we'll take a look at that. But we're simply going to run NXC RDP. We're going to run 192.168.138.162. That's the IP of the host. And then we'll, we'll do our port and our user and our passwords. We'll, we'll come back over here, though, first, and we'll do proxy chains in front of this so that we know it's running through our proxy. So this is going to run through our Win11 host to itself. Now, you could attack anything on that network with this. We'll run proxy chains here. We can see it's going to run. And it says executing command, who am I, with delay three seconds. So we're taking advantage of Steve Rogers' machine here. We can see Win11 host 1. And in just a second, we should get back. Yes, we are running as Hacking Lab Steve Rogers. So we tunneled through our host to then do whatever we want. Now we can do anything here. I want to do things that I know EDR will block. It will run through this chisel session, right? It's, EDR just isn't very good at detecting things happening in real time over the network. So if I want to RDP and attack the domain controller, I totally can, right? Also, this is a good way to reach around things. So there's many ways to uh, tunnel a chisel. There was uh, sharp chisel. There's invoke sharp chisel, part of empire. So just looking around at these, there was a whole bunch of different methods that I found cool. Okay. So that is our red for this week. Our blue for this week. Let's detect chisel. So let's jump over here to our elastic sim. And we have our query going. Our first way of detecting this is let's not detect the executable, but let's detect what it does for the command line, right? So with chisel, you're going to give it client or server. 
And some of the process args you're going to give it are socks reverse or socks five. You saw that we gave it socks there, right? So we're just looking for these command line arguments and they all have to exist. So client and client and or server must exist and a process arg of socks reverse or socks five must exist. So that makes it pretty accurate. You do this on event code 4688 or one, load and run this here. And as you can see, if we look closely here, we should have our ton chis, right? I'm renamed chisel. So using the word chisel is not a great detection, but doing the arguments is pretty good. All right, our next one. Our next one for net exec is clip. Now this was weird, but what it does is it uses clip to grab the output and send it back. So if we run this, Right here, we'll run this command right here. It is 4688 or one and process parent executable cmd.exe and process name clip. A clip isn't something that's ran that often. So when we run this, we'll see right here, we have one session of this. And if we look close, we can see it's Steve Rogers that's running it. It's run on Hacking Lab and it's CMD running clip. So CMD runs who am I and then clip. Now, if you search the who am I right before this, you're going to get a timeline. Let's just do that. So we'll do we'll do clip and who am I. So we'll do 4688 and one. And we'll do and clip dot exe or who am I. We'll just put some stars around these. And you'll see that they'll fall out in exact order. So just like this, we'll let that run. And in just a second, it should pop up. You can see right here is who am I? And right here is clip. Look how close these are together within the same one second time frame. So that is NetExec doing its magic. So you, when you're seeing commands run with that exec over RDP, it will blend in. That clip is what makes it stand out. All right. That's all I have for you this week. Thanks for watching again and hack the planet to defend better.